Good morning, afternoon. We're back on the Minion Bus build. Now, I think I really haven't touched this since Kale and Tyler were here. I kind of went down sick and then I just, I've been resting for a whole week. So we lost a whole week on this bus build, but we're hopping back on it today. And in the last video you guys seen, I got that bus back there. That is the next project bus and that is to help make money. But that won't be started until this bus is done. And this bus is mine. So this bus doesn't make any money. This bus costs me money to build. I'm going to talk you through what we're going to try and do in this video. Don't know if it's all going to happen today. But if you see right here, see these rivets? I need to flatten these out or cut them flat so that wood can sit across that. And uh, yeah, so I need to get all these rivets flat or knocked loose. And then uh, we're gonna start prepping the floor. So I'm gonna clean up any rivets first with the cutting wheel and a hammer. And then we're gonna start prepping the floor so we can get a subfloor in here. Not sure how far we'll get today. Oh yeah, also we're gonna finish getting a lot of this old insulation out a little bit better. We're just trying to get to the point where we can start building, doing a little bit of cleanup work today is kind of the mission. Let's go. Okay, so the cutting wheel is pretty gnarly. I'm gonna see if I can just hammer these up because the cutting wheel kind of sucks and if I don't have to use it, I'd rather not. So let's see if this works. Oh yeah! All right, y'all. We were able to get most of the rivets flat with the hammer, so then I could put wood back up over it. But this section back here has got like raw metal all over it, and the rivets are still here. I need to clean up this back section with the wheel, and then we should be able to move on to another project. Let's get it. Okay, all the rivets are smooth, so I can put wood back up. I think the next mission I'm gonna do is get rid of all this loose uh, insulation. I'm gonna use my hands to pull the insulation out, and I'm also gonna use this little like green heavy duty like scotch pad to kind of cut it off the wall if I need to. Let's get into it. Next mission is I wanna wash this. I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna pull that off without getting water all up there. <laughs> We're gonna figure it out.
Okay. You just see me wash this whole bus. I used Super Clean. It's just a really good degreaser. And I cut, you know, because that little wall down there is going to show. And then just basically anything that's not getting covered up, I washed it. And then we washed the whole floor. And then now I'm going to go in. And I love 220 grit sandpaper. We're going to sand the whole floor with 220 grit sandpaper just to clean it up a little more, get some of the rust off. Then we'll use a wire wheel to get more of the rust up. And then we'll blow this thing down. So we need to get all of this rust off the floor is our mission. And then we're going to plug all the holes and we're going to prep this for paint. So it's a little bit of rust under here. We're going to prep it. And then we'll spray it with some like rust inhibitor stuff. And then we're just basically prepping this whole floor so that we can get a nice rust per, uh, inhibitor paint on the rust and then a nice rust stopping paint on the entire floor and give us a nice fresh floor ready for the subfloor. And we're gonna patch all those holes with some aluminum tape. I wanted to talk you through it so I can just show it from here on out. We're just waiting on this thing to dry, and then we're going to get up in here with a sander and keep it cracking, baby. Check out that floor. Got the whole floor sanded, got a lot of the surface rust off. There's a little bit of rust left like in some of the corners that I'll try and give with the wire wheel. But one of the things that we're gonna do is, can you see that? So that's old body filler when they originally did this floor. And they do that to just seam, so it's a bunch of sheet metal. And they do that to seal up like all the seams just to help from water getting in or out. And it's all cracked out and jacked up and paint we're sanding so paint can stick to it we're basically prepping this whole floor so we can get paint to stick to it and it's a paint that's going to seal it and it's a paint that's going to prohibit rust and stop it from we're get basically creating a clean slate on this floor but my point is we need to get all that crack out that sealer out that way we, we want to have nice fresh everything so the paint can soak into it and protect the metal like it's meant to do and then after the paint's all dry we'll go through and we'll reseam all these seals and help seal it all back up make it fresh um, and i think we'll probably patch the holes after we paint let's uh, get all them cracks out Okay, it's like four o'clock. I think I'm gonna, the thing is I'm still like kinda sick and I'm really trying not to push myself too hard. So I think we're gonna call it here today and then we'll get back on this in the morning. And then by the end of this video, we're gonna see this whole floor prepped and ready for a subfloor. That's gonna be the end of the vi this whole video. I, I wanna do like a subfloor prep beginning to end and then we'll do a whole nother video that's the whole subfloor so that's the mission and uh we'll see you in the morning let's just see how much i like this all right so is it just like a car yeah okay. hang on arms and legs in at all times is it gonna beep if i don't wear my seatbelt yeah. Uh, it's gonna beep at you. Huh. It just, it feels like a big fat truck. Yeah. It does, it feels, or a moving van. But, um, but yeah. more stable. Like, I feel like I could, I feel like we could go over and jump on it. <laughs> oh yeah, so Mindy, what do you think about driving a bus? I love it, but I want to do it on the highway. And okay. I also want to do it uh, on the roads that we're on. 
And because I, I want to get the feeling of like in a confined space, yeah. how would I turn it around or back it out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh feel, my gosh. Feel free to drive it around. Thank you, knees and toes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, everybody. It's a new day. Uh, we let Mindy drive this bus earlier, as you've seen, but we left off yesterday with the floor being mostly prepped and ready for paint so what i'm going to do now is use these wire wheels right here and get all the spots that i couldn't get to with the sander and uh then we're going to wipe this down with mineral spirits and uh get some paint on it now i'm going to leave it just like this i'm not going to patch any holes things like that because i want the rust prohibiting paint to get into every nook and cranny and crevice so my plan is to prep this floor, get paint on it, and then go back and patch the holes and the paint's already touched all the bare metal, which is what we want to do. Let's get into it. We're gonna wipe this whole floor down with mineral spirits, get all the oils up, and then that metal is prepped and ready for paint. Let's wipe this thing down and get some paint on here. Okay, we're about ready to start getting paint on there. I'm gonna show you what we're doing. I've got this Rust-Oleum, like Rust Reformer. So this is like a spray paint. Basically what I'm gonna do is there's some spots that you just can't get the rust, right? I'm going to take this and hit all the rust spots I can see and then this will stop the rust from getting any worse and then it'll make it primed and ready for paint. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to go through and edge it with rusty metal primer instead of using a brush to get in the corners I'll use this and then I have the same paint right here that I'm going to roll on with this handy dandy roller. Now. I'm not going to bring the camera in there when I'm doing the spray paint, but I will bring the camera on when I roll down the rust stuff. Now, I just read the can, which I recommend you do, and it says that you need 24 hours before you do a top coat after you put this on. What that means, I'm not going to be able to roll that floor today. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go hit all the spots of rust with this, and then that's going to be it for today, and then tomorrow it's going to be raining, but it is what it is. So all we're going to be able to finish doing today is get this on the rust. Let's go get that done. It's a new day. It's like the afternoon. I spent all morning at DMV uh, getting that new Brewster bus registered as an RV. So that's done. I'm waiting on the title and the tags now, but we're hopping back into the minion build. You've seen where we left off. So now I'm going to go in. I'm using, I like to use rusty metal primer um, for all my metal stuff. I'm going to go in and I'm going to do all the edges with this spray paint instead of a brush. So go and spray all the edges and then we're going to fill up this paint tray right here and we're going to roll that floor and get all that metal with nice fresh paint on it. That is today's mission. Let's see, let's see. Let's go. As you can tell, we got the metal all prepped and painted, and we got our primer on there, it's drying. We might let this sit overnight, uh, but we're gonna at least give it a couple hours to dry up. So I'm gonna shut this so the cats don't get all that wet paint all over them. Got the fan in here trying to dry this out, and then uh, we'll, finish this, uh, we'll finish this floor up. Next mission is we're going to use some of this aluminum tape and we're going to patch up all the holes. 
this is going to be the last step of prepping the schoolie floor for a subfloor and then we're going to do some other things uh, when it comes time for the subfloor let's uh start cut some of this tape and then patching all these tiny little holes let's go Ladies and gentlemen, that's it. We got the school bus metal floor prepped and ready for the subfloor. Just to recap, we ripped the stuff up, the old stuff up. We went through and sanded the whole thing. We used a wire wheel, got all the rust out that we could get. We used a rust converting paint on any of the rust that we could see and in all the corners. And then we used rusty metal primer and painted the whole floor. And then we used aluminum tape to patch all the holes. So we did. That's gonna be the end of this video. If you like watching building buses, you're trying to learn how to build a bus, or you just like bus stuff, if you're not already subscribed, consider subscribing. My name is Isaac, and we're getting ready to do the subfloor next. Stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah.